I feel like unless you're actually doing stuff, things aren't gonna happen for you. That's why I started the apparel brand was like, I shouldn't do something, mm -hmm. but just do something. Yeah. That makes enough sense. I think uh, entrepreneurs, you just have this like angst inside, like I want, I gotta create something. Gotta be, yeah, I gotta yeah. create something and you're like, what am I gonna create? Business, I'm gonna do this, that. You're really into fashion and clothing. You decided to pair that with your interest in content. Yeah. Like this is what we're gonna do. And instead of just keep thinking about analysis paralysis, you made it happen. Yeah. And you did make it happen. You produced there is, a real. lot of shirts that were really cool and everybody who wore them liked them. What then it came down to was economies of scale and, and you know, years and essentially funding at the end. But yeah, we got to the point where it was like, all right, you need to put 200K in. And I was like, that to me was creating a reality where I was like, do I want that to be my life? Like, this has been a tough few years. So I was like, not yet. I'm not ready. But it's cool because now I help brands in the e-commerce space because I, I've done it and I've got my ass kicked. And I know when people are like, here's our, here's our goal, here's our vision, here's what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Here are some things I would recommend you watch out for. There's always someone who you can help with the things you've learned over time. Mm -hmm. And I think that bringing that perspective and evolving that perspective, eventually you arrive at a point in life where you've, you've seen a lot of things that makes you deadly in the space that you apply yourself to. Mm -hmm. 